Hello friends, today we have discussed about the very important topic that is trigonometry. So the trigonometry is basically the two term. What is the term? That is tri and geometry. Okay, so the trigonometry is establish the relationship between the three sides and angle. So here the tri represents the three sides and there is the angle. So here the three sides, what are that? That is the perpendicular, okay. This one is the perpendicular and this is the base and this is the hypotenuse. So here how you can identify which one is the perpendicular, which one is the base and which one is the hypotenuse. So when a person seeing from this side, so and there is the angle theta, so you can say that this one is the base and this opposite, so it, it, say it is a perpendicular. But when a person see from this side, suppose seeing from the this side, okay, and seeing from this side, then you can say this is the base, this is the base and angle here, the angle is alpha, suppose angle is alpha and this is the perpendicular for that case. Okay, so this is the main thing is that when the three and three sides and the angle okay is considered that is the tri and geometry okay so here what about the uh, p b p and h h b so here the sine theta is equal to the the perpendicular upon hypotenuse okay and the cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse and the tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base but just opposite the cot theta is equal to 1 upon tan theta so what is the value of 1 upon tan theta so you can write 1 upon the value of tan theta is p by b that is perpendicular by base so you can see p by b and that is b by p just opposite of the tan theta so here the what is the value of uh, sec theta and cosec theta so you can easily write the value of sec theta is opposite of cos theta okay so you can put the value here that is h upon b the value of sec theta and here what is the value of cosec theta so cosec theta is basically the value of just opposite value of sine theta so here the value of sine theta is cosec theta is h upon p that is hypotenuse by perpendicular okay this is the value so here the one important topic according to the uh, pythagoras theorem you should know about what is the value of hypotenuse okay so hypotenuse uh, sorry here so what is the value of hypotenuse suppose this is the perpendicular this is the base and this is the hypotenuse so how should know the hypotenuse is equal to root over of p square plus b square according to the pythagoras theorem so now we have to move to the topic that is geometry so here in this case there are the four quadrant so this is the first second third fourth okay they are the fourth quadrant when we move from this side that is the value is gives the positive when move from this side what is the value is gives it gives the positive when move from this side it value is give the negative and when we move from this side it will value will give the negative so here it is positive positive you can say and here what is here y value x axis value is here negative and y axis value is positive so this is x and this is y okay and what is the third quadrant so in the third quadrant x axis is negative and y axis is also negative but in the fourth quadrant you can see that value of x axis is positive y axis is negative okay so one trick is that regarding the trigonometry how you use the geometry in the uh, trigonometry use so uh, one thing is that uh, you should know all sugar to coffee 
okay so this is the easy trick to remember that here all all sugar means s that is sign 2t means 10 and here coffee c means cos okay so this is here first quadrant all positive all values are all values are positive but in the second case the values that is sign is positive but in the third quadrant which in tan is positive and in the fourth quadrant which one is cos is positive so this is the uh, geometry the quadrant is that the first second third and fourth quadrant is that so i think you should uh, learn about the basic of the trigonometry so thank you very much uh, i hope you have enjoyed the lecture